It's your boy Nipsey Huss, we right here live and direct on Slauson with the Slauson boy. Mogul and they know that. Logo on my flow man. Corsair Chamberlain throwback. Yeah, boy, neighbor, 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 neighbor. That was just my new single hustle in the house. Whole lot of smoke in that Rory, that thing post. Burning rubber, wearing cameras that was undercovers. Under pressure, made statements turned to be at war with yourself and at peace with the world. Or at peace with yourself and at war with the world. Once the haters, and cuffers and maces. Call us dumb niggas cause our culture is contagious. Third generation. My name is Nipsey Hussle. I'm from LA. Invest in some assets as opposed to trick off my money on supply business like diamonds. You know what I'm saying? Cars that lose value. Dude. You know, one thing pop up. Well, I still gotta do this, 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 and that. So all this ain't gonna stop me. You know what I'm saying? Another thing pop up. Well, shit, I accomplished this two things. I since my last obstacle. I only got three more things to do. Let me keep pushing. Fuck it. Pretty soon you 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 attain your goal. And then you create another one. But without a game plan, without a, a strong sense of faith in what you're doing, it's going to be real hard to accomplish anything. You gotta have faith in what you're doing and not take no for an answer. You'll get it. It'll be a long run, but you'll get it. You gotta go hard, sure. you gotta believe in yourself, and you gotta have a sense of humor. And know that bullshit is gonna happen. You can't be too serious about it, too emotionally affected when bullshit happens. You have to just stick to the script. Me, have overwhelming confidence. Be your own biggest fan, your own biggest believer, and put it on your back and carry it away. One, you know, I just feel better, homie. I sleep better. You know what I mean? I just, I got a, a level of like, I'm at peace with what I'm doing. I feel good about what I'm waking up doing and about my lifestyle. At one point, I, didn't, I, I wasn't proud of my lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't, I wasn't content with what I was doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I wasn't happy with that. So it was eating at me. Even though I'd be on the surface, cool and straight, deep down I wasn't, I knew that this wasn't the direction of what I need to be doing. Now I wake up with the feeling that I'm going in the direction that I'm here for. Like what I'm on this planet for, I'm doing it. I done took my name and carved it in the cement. Oh uh, man, I, I, I love my pops. I was, I used to cry when he dropped me off, back here actually at this house. Cause he used to come get us when he could, we didn't live in the same house. But um, you know, my pops was always, Energetic, always had a positive aura, always had a good vibe, always smiling, always lit up a room when he walked in. People always loved my pops, you know, he was just a good energy person. And always, like, you know, happy and just, you know, had a good place in his life. And so on. Um, regardless of whatever financial state he was in, he was just always a good vibe. You know, because he done been up and down and up again, you know what I mean? But I just think that, um... My memories of being with my pops was always good memories. They cook for us, take us to the movies, clown, watch movies. We was movie buffs, all of us. So he just put us on the movies and you know what I mean. Joke with us, clown with us, be a kid with us. You know what I mean. But we was close though, always. You know, we never lived in the same house. You know, as far as I can remember, my mom and him were separated. But I always had a high respect and a, and a you know a genuine love for my pops. Cause you know what I mean. Plus your phone till you back online.